About three years ago, I was uh, operating. Every day, I was in an operating room. I'd be performing procedures on patients. In fact, I wanted to be a doctor to make people better, and I found myself learning how to operate on patients. This isn't something that just happened where in the hospital that I was at, but also in hospitals almost globally. Next slide. And this has happened for hundreds of years. Surgeons have learned to operate in the operating room, and even when qualified, surgeons continue to learn new procedures in the operating room. This is a problem. It's a huge problem that results in uh, patient safety concerns. It can impact standardization and results in real variability in outcomes. Next slide. And so for the last two years, what I've been doing is been involved in mapping surgery. In the same way that we've built maps of our world, we've been working on building an engine that is able to take surgical procedures and healthcare and process map it to allow surgeons everywhere to be able to rehearse and simulate procedures. Next slide. So this is what it looks like. We take operations and break them down into steps. We allow surgeons to interact with virtual human patients and go through those steps in a meaningful way. This means that today you can be trained at, by a surgeon at Harvard who is the best at performing a procedure. You can be trained anywhere, and this is freely available in your pocket. Not only can we teach, but we can also test. Next slide, please. And the testing really drives certification. Our team has brought people from a background of animation from Pixar, gaming, and data, and we're continuing to build process map procedures that are freely available on mobile devices. Next slide. We capture a huge amount of data, and the data is being fed back into hospital systems and industry, and so we've been able to build a free business model that allows us to really change surgery and drive industry. Next slide. What do I think of the future of surgery? We all know that virtual reality is now something that's been heavily invested in, and we believe that this is going to really impact the way that we deliver surgery. We think that technology is going to continue to merge with procedures. Sorry, you've gone two slides ahead. And, okay, next slide. And robotics is going to be something that will really continue to impact patients as we build more interactive and more intelligent devices. Next slide. Today in Saudi Arabia, we have over a thousand surgeons who are learning using touch surgery. I learned to be a doctor to make patients better. Today I have the privilege to allow surgeons everywhere to have the tools to make patients better using technology. My name is Sean Amy. Thank you for having me. I'm a co-founder of Touch Surgery.